So from the time of filming this video, we have about an hour to go. Good morning everybody, this time we're talking about what we expect going forwards into today and this week with AMC based on the data that we do have and the clear trends that we are going to be looking at. Now before we do dive in, as always, this is only my personal opinion. It should not be taken as advice. I may be wrong, it's just what I personally believe. So do your own research, make your own minds up because this is not guaranteed fact. But if you do enjoy it here, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. We are trying to grow the channel. And we're doing a great job at it thanks to you guys. Let's continue to grow the channel and of course continue to share the good DD. So please do subscribe and help get the message out there. So with that being said though, we're going to dive straight into this one and have a look at where we are. So we're going to start off by looking at Friday's chart and you'll see Friday was not the worst day uh, for AMC that we have seen. Now it's not been a bad day for the market it was uh, Friday, but clearly, you know, it is not running as much as some of the other stocks on the market. And I have noticed this trend previously with AMC, and I do always say it, right? When the market is up, we see AMC being up a lot less than the generalized markets and also uh, specific stocks. But when the market is down, we see AMC being down more than uh, the general market and also other stocks. And the reason I think this is for, in my opinion, is going to be uh, very, very clear when we come out to the year to date or even uh, the one year chart. But really, is very clearly shown on the year to date. Now we're gonna to have to go into the candlestick chart to break this down in a bit more detail. And I have spoken about this before, but just a quick reminder, what this has done is we see a little bit of an uptrend then we see more downtrends. So of course, if it was just down, 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 down forever, that would look really dodgy. Whereas for those who do not know, you could think, okay, this company had its run up, now it's dying off because people are not interested. And I think that is what they're trying to make it look like. So that's what we're seeing for the price. And uh, I think that is what we are expecting. Now, of course, because of this, I do expect the generalized market trend today to be um, a big factor in what we should expect for AMC, but we'll have to see how the market does unfold. Anyway, today what we have is a pre-market price of 14.85, a decrease of 21 cent, that's about 1.39%. You've seen that trend, we're coming down to our lows, which was not too long ago, uh, that was at 14.7. So, you know, we have come up a little bit from there, but not too big. And again, we do still have from the time of filming about... Uh, an hour and 20 minutes to go until the market's open so who knows what's going to happen in that pre-market but that's just what we're highlighting for now uh, we are actually seeing those moves and as i have said before pre-market bringing it down could be a powerful mental tool so when i speak about this what i mean is if they bring the pre-market price down what it does is it means that when we open we have that gap down in price and that definitely does play to some people's um, mental side if you will because what it does is you see your account go from x price to x price below that in a matter of seconds you know as soon as the market opens and i think that is another tactic which they're trying to play so that's why i have said it in the past and i will say it again pre-market drops i've got my eyes on those as a tactic which could potentially be being used now let's have a look at the data that we have so this is the data the most recent data it's coming from a uh, stonk o tracker we'll update it and there we go so the main things that we're going to be looking at here is the shares available to borrow um because i think that is the main thing that we're seeing here uh, and so far, this data is actually a big reduction on last week. So last week, we were in, in the numbers of 5 uh, million, roughly. Now we're seeing the shares available to borrow coming down to 2.8 million. Is it still a lot? Yes, it's still a lot. But, of course, it is a reduction. What does that mean? Right now, not necessarily anything. But just be aware that they do still have that power with those 2.8. And, of course, they do have those shares uh, in the ETF available as well. So, you know, what we're seeing is still pretty high figures but it is coming down again we want these to come down more but it doesn't necessarily mean anything again we'll just have to see if these shares actually get used but yes there is still a few shares available to short uh, enough to potentially bring the price down so be aware that is something that they will be having the power to do um and how they're going to do this who knows as in who knows how they're going to break down the downtrend how they're going to make it look but it is something i believe that we should be preparing for in this week just my opinions, of course, but if you did enjoy the video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Now, as always, guys, we're going to be back at you in a bit for more content uh, when the market does open. But yes, if you do enjoy these sorts of videos, make sure to subscribe. All I'm trying to say is I think today will be one of those days with AMC where it's not necessarily here or there. I don't expect it to be too eventful. But the reason for making these videos continuously is to give you guys that preparation, that insight as to what I am personally looking for and if we are aware if we know what can happen we're going to be more comfortable so like I said 
I expect this one to follow a lot of the market trends. Again, if it does go up, if the markets go up, I expect this one to go up a bit less. If the markets come down, I expect this one to come down a bit more. And that's going to continue to form this downtrend. Um, but really, you know, it's coming down where we've seen a few days consistently in the red. Who knows, we, we may start to see some green days um, here and there with AMC. But I think right now it is still insignificant because what we're looking at is the data rather than the dates. What we're looking at is the data rather than the prices. And if we keep our eyes on that data and don't let our emotions get ahead of us, we'll be in a much better place. Because it is a case of a lot of trading is about emotion. If you can withdraw that emotion, you're in a very, very powerful and strong place. So as always, like I said, this was only my personal opinions. Just what I have found, if you agree with it, make sure to smash the like button and share it if you can. And I will be back with you guys in a bit for more content. Do drop me a comment as well, I want to hear what you all have to say, so please do drop me one. And I'll be back with you later on, so goodbye. Thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously it is split into multiple sections. Basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon